So today we're going to take a simplified approach to the CAGE system. We'll start with just what it is. The CAGE system is just an acronym for C, A, G, E, and D. These are just referring to the chord shapes that you probably already know and love. If you know these chord shapes, what they do is they allow you to play the same chord, like a C, all up and down the neck using a C shape. There's a C with an A shape, a C with a G shape, a C with an E shape, and lastly, with a D shape. So today we're going to take each of those chords and we're going to select a few notes from them and we're going to use them to help us build up reference points and help us better understand our fingerboard. So let's start with the C chord. We're just going to take two notes from the C chord, just the root notes. We've got a C on the A string on the third fret and one on the B string on the first fret. Now, these are two frets and three strings apart if we want to kind of view these strings and the frets as a grid. So if we just take those two notes, as long as I keep my fingers staggered like this, I'll always have notes that are of the same octave. So there's a C and another C, there's a D and another D, E, F, F, F sharp, F sharp, and this works all up and down the neck, as long as we keep our fingers in that same shape. So it doubles up the number of notes we know if we know the notes on our A string or if we notes on the, know the notes on the B string. A. So we're just going to take the open A string and we're going to take the second fret on the G string, making sure I don't mess that up. These are two frets and two strings apart, again, if we view it as a grid. So if this is A and A, this is B flat, B flat, C, C, D, D sharp. So all we need to know is one of the notes on the A string and we can double it up and instantly play another one. The G shape has two sets in them and we'll just do them one pair at a time. So we've got our third fret on our E string and our open G. These are three frets and three strings apart. And as long as I maintain that shape, that distance from note to note, I can move them up and down the grid and double up my notes. B flat, B flat, C, C. On the upper half of the G chord, we've got using the same middle point, our reference point, our open G string, and we have our third fret on the high E. These are now two strings and three frets apart. And as long as I keep that shape going, I've got G and G, G sharp, G sharp, A, A, B, B, C, C, etc., etc. E also has two pairs, and we'll approach it the same way. We've got our open E string, and we have our second fret on our D string. These are both E's, two frets and two strings apart. If you remember, they're just like the A, the very first part of the A. So if E and E, F and F, G and G, all we need to remember is two frets and two strings, and we can do this anywhere up on the neck. This is especially useful if you play the bass guitar. Uh, the second half, we're going to take that middle point, the E on the D string on the second fret, and the open E, and now we're two frets and three strings apart. So there's E and E, F and F. If you remember, that's kind of like in your F chord shape. G and G, G sharp and G. So if we know one of our note names, we can use this shape forward and backwards to help us find the same note on different spots and different octaves on our guitar. Lastly is the D chord, and the D chord is just has a single pair within it. We use our open D string, and we use the third fret on the B string, and now they're two strings and three frets apart. Don't want to mess that up. So there's a D and a D, and if I have a D sharp or an E flat, there's another one, three frets and two strings apart, E and E, F sharp, F sharp. So basically what the cage system teaches us is that the what we do on one spot on the guitar can be done all over the instrument. That all of these shapes and patterns that we're learning are transferable up and down the neck. So the uncaged system is just really helping us map out our fingerboard a little bit. But remember that we, all we did was we chose one note from the chord, we chose the root note from each one, and we found its octave within the chord. And we use that shape to help us find the octaves up and down the neck. All the full cage system is, is using every single note. So it's finding the root note and the third and the, third, uh, the fifth note as well. And it's mapping them up all up and down the fingerboard. So this is kind of just taking a little piece of that and doing all the work for each one of those notes. But if we do it individually for each note, we'll end up finding that we already know the whole cage system. All right, thanks for watching.